السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا ونفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وأرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا ورزقنا اجتنابه وحشرنا في زمرة عبادك الصالحين أمين يا رب العالمين ويا الله سبحانه ويعسك الله سبحانه وتعالى تأكسبت فمع we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us siyam, qiyam, uh, reading the Quran, all the good deeds we have done so far in this Ramadan. Ameen, ameen, Rabbil Alameen. Tonight is our 29th of Ramadan 2020. So we'll be discussing Juz 29. In this Juz, I've chosen Surah Nuh, and Surah Nuh number 74 will be discussing Ayah 10 to 12. So I've, in this case, I've chosen three ayats because the three ayats, you cannot dismantle them apart because they, all the three ayats have one common uh, message that I want to share with you. Uh, Surah Nuh is Surah Mecca. That means it was revealed uh, prior to the migration of the Prophet ﷺ to Medina. It has a lot of great message to anyone who is involved in da'wah. And how uh, and it shows the how Nuh السلام, shows such a great patience and struggles that he dealt with with his people when he was inviting them to the message of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and the Tawheed. Uh, of course, this is uh, also uh, indirectly is comforting the Prophet وسلم, and his companion because during this time Prophet وسلم, was struggling with people of Quraysh, with disbeliever, mushrikeen. So in a way, it's telling us, <coughs> it's teaching us anyone who's involved in da'wah, including even not necessarily da'wah, but even as a parent, as a father and mother, you're trying to advise your kid, your family, your relative to do the right thing. And this sort of teach us how to do that. Um, so let's dive into our ayat of tonight. The first ayah is ayah number 10. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فقلت استغفروا ربكم إنه كان غفارا I said, ask your Lord for forgiveness. He is extremely and frequently all forgiven. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so Nuh is talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's telling him, I have told my people to make استغفار for you, to seek forgiveness from you because you are most extremely and, and, and frequently uh, forgiven. And the ayah that came after that, number 11, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, alaykum midrara. That means, this is the ayah following the first ayah. That means, Nuh is saying, um, I've told my people to make stirfar because when, when they make a stirfar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send them uh, a rain in abundance, a rain that's going to benefit them, a rain that's going to benefit their crops, their animals, and their, their life. So, um, and then we have a third ayah after that, where Allah subhanahu wa says, وَيَمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا And he, he will give you, or, or he gives you an increase in wealth. So he will increase your wealth and children and provide you gardens and provide you rivers. That means with the step far, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also, besides sending you a rain abundance and beneficial rain, he will also increase your wealth, your children, he will give you uh, gardens and rivers in the hereafter. So it has a lot of benefit uh, of step far. Now, so the connection of this uh, three ayahs to, this, to the theme of Surah, it, it's very obvious. He's making da'wah uh, to them to uh, come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make stighfar. And we said the theme of Surah is uh, discussing about the struggles and the patience of people involved in da'wah. Now, before I dive into uh, understanding and getting, extracting the wisdoms uh, from these three ayahs, I want to first uh, just make it clear that about the word stighfar. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I, I discussed this in surah, when I talked about Surah Zumar, 
when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the door of forgiveness open and he is extremely, extremely forgiving, extremely merciful. And it's obvious by the ayah, I've talked to you about it before, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, يَا الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الدُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ And he said, oh, tell my slave, the one who extremely excessively wronged himself, do not lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah indeed will forgive all the sins. He's all forgiven and all merciful. But it's important, and I've talked about this in the Sarah, stighfar without doing anything, it doesn't help. In other words, you can't just do stighfar and keep doing sins. It doesn't work. That's not what Nuh is telling them. He's not telling them, oh, just make stighfar and Allah will give you all this benefit in this life. No, that's not exactly what, what he's saying. In fact, um, Imam Ibn Kathir, he said, I arju'u ilayh wa arju'u amma antum fi wa tubu ilayh min qarib. That means Ibn Kathir, great mufassir, he said, when, when Nuh said, فَقُلْتُ أَسْتَغْفِرُ فَقُلْتُ أَسْتَغْفِرُ رَبَّكُمْ He doesn't say just make still far. He's telling that means go back, return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make repentance, repentance from anything. And he said, um, فَإِنَّهُ مَنْ تَابَ إِلَيْهِ تَابَ عَلَيْهِ وَلَوْ كَانَ دُنُوبُهُ مَهْمَا كَانَتْ فِي الْكُفْرِ وَالشِّرْكِ That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, 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 uh, will accept your repentance uh, even though whether, whether it's a minor sin, whether it's shirk, doesn't matter what kind of sins. And I've talked about that in the ayah I just shared with you from Surah Zumar. And, and uh, the other thing about uh, the, the stighfar, uh, Imam Qurtubi, uh, the, the author of the Jami', this book behind me here, where he said, uh, فَأَمَّا مَنْ قَالَ بِلِسَانِي The one who just said stighfar with, with his, his tongue, you know, not from his heart. وَقَلْبُهُ مُصِرٌ عَلَى مَعْصِيَتِهِ فَاسْتِغْفَارُهُ ذَلِكَ يَحْتَاجُ إِلَى استغفار. That means this person who just says stighfar and he's keep making sins. You know, Allah is forgiver. You know, that's okay. Let's just continue this haram. Let's continue this. Let's keep looking at the haram thing. Allah is going to forgive anyway. That is not what stighfar is. And, and, and uh, Hassan Basri, rahimahullah, he said, Sometimes our, our just seeking forgiveness, in need for seeking forgiveness. In other words, our seeking forgiveness is not even truly correct istighfar. But this is a, an advice for myself and everybody, because sometimes we misinterpret some of these ayat and we think just do istighfar, keep making sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give you all this benefit, the worthy benefit, and, and, and the hereafter benefit. No. That's not what according to the, to the scholar. So, uh, so let's dive into our, uh, where we can get the, the wisdoms from the three ayahs. So the first ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you, uh, no, the second ayah is, يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارَ After you make, after you seek forgiveness, the true seeking forgiveness, the true istighfar, Allah will send you down the rain, that will benefit you. But I want to point something here. You guys know the story about Nuh, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this uh, extreme uh, heavy rain and, you know, destroy everybody except uh, him and a few people. And as that's shown in Surah Al-Hud, uh, you could refer to that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the beneficial rain in, in this story. And subhanAllah, there's a story about Umar ibn Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, where there was a time there was a drought and he was doing nothing but stighfar, stighfar, stighfar. And so stighfar has a lot of benefit of, uh, for rain, uh, especially for those who need rain in a drought area. Um, ayah number 12, uh, So this ayah here is telling you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a sincere stighfar, he will give you, will increase your wealth, your children, will give you a lot of gardens and, and uh, rivers in the hereafter. So and it's, it's a beautiful bene benefit for this worthy uh, life that we live in. So um, Imam Shamqiti, rahimahullah, fi adwa al-bayan, great, great mufassir, uh, 
he said there was another ayah, it's almost like a sister of this ayah, that talks about the same thing. And he supports the meaning of this ayah by describing another ayah. And this is what we call a tafsir Qur'an with Qur'an. Tafsir with, with the Qur'an, with, with the Qur'an. There's another ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَنِ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ ثُمَّ تُوبُوا إِلَيْهِ يُمَتِّعْكُمْ مَتَاعًا حَسَنًا إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّةٍ And he said, ask and ask your Lord for forgiveness and repent to him. He will provide you with good sustenance until stated term. He said, رَحِمَ اللَّهِ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّةٍ Or stated term means death. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you so much sustenance, will help will give you so many, uh, you know, uh, beneficial in this world. Until until you die. So this ayah, it's almost like a sister of this ayah. It's like the, they have the similar uh, meaning, meaning the benefit of of still far. Um, so the like I said, the still far has a great benefit for this world. Like I, I, I just explained, it has a lot of benefit for the hereafter and many many discussion we can have. But because I'm trying to keep this video short. The objective is just to talk about one ayah, but uh, for the sake of discussion still far, I just want to highlight a couple of things that still far is one of the first dua human being ever made, which is who's, uh, who's our first human being is our father Adam. And our, our, our father Adam said that the first dua that he made was still far. قَالَ رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِلَّمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ so he said, uh, you know, after committing the sin, uh, Adam alayhi salam asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this dua, Oh, our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If, if, and if you don't forgive us and you don't have mercy on us, we will for sure be among the losers. So uh, it's important that, that we recognize the importance of Stighfar. Uh, the other thing about Stighfar is uh, Hassan al-Basri, uh, rahimahullah, he says, Increase, make stirfar everywhere you go, no matter where you go. Yani, there is uh, any places because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you don't know when maghfir is going to come, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually truly is going to forgive your sin. So you need to do it everywhere you are. So the takeaway for today is ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from your heart first, with a tawbah and sincerity. That's number one. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive your sins, will provide you with, with, with His mercy in the, in, the, in the hereafter as evidenced by some other ayat that I didn't want to discuss. And also many benefit, worthy benefits as we discussed today, uh, like wealth, uh, children, and good life. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He help us understand the Quran as it deserves. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that He make us among those who listen to what has been said and follow it. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He make Quran shafi'an lana yawm al qiyamah. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu alayk. Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.